What is going on guys, it is Connor back with another episode and in today's episode we are going to be replacing the high beam lights with these Oxido LED lights. The GTR is about 10 years old so I'm noticing some deteriorated performance in the OEM high beams. Uh, I end up using these a lot when I'm driving by myself, um, home from drives and stuff like that. So when we get done cruising, I want to be able to have good vision. So I'm going to install these on and compare them to the OEM. Let's see how they look. So one important thing to do is always get a good baseline of what you're adjusting. So as you can see on my headlights here, I have my normal high beam on where I'm pointing right here. I have my new city light that I installed, which is also an LED. And then I have the OEM high beam right here. And this is what I'm finding is that it seems like it's a little bit dull. seems like it's a little outdated right now. The performance of them is good. This is uh, toned down quite a bit so you can see the lights on there. I'll raise it up to normal level so this is our normal level that we typically see as we drive it's not bad but it's not good the yellow incandescent just doesn't seem like it's putting out that much value to it anymore especially in uh, dark areas like washington where it gets dark at like four o'clock going home so it's time to adjust these we'll see what they look like after we swap one hopefully it's better now during the updates to my car, I was filming a video on everything that's happened to the GTR, but these were provided by Oxido to me, and I do want to film a regular video for them. I am upgrading all lights on the GTR anyways. You guys have seen the rear license plate lights. The headlights are still good quality, so it's time to do the high beams. Overall, we're just refreshing the entire GTR. So if you guys want to see all the mods, click on the next video that's going to come out or subscribe. If you guys aren't, you'll see all the changes that have happened to the GTR in the meantime during these cold winter months. So luckily, the car is in the garage. We get to work on it. But while I was getting new tires on the car, the wheel is off. It's the perfect time to install these. I've been waiting for that moment. So let's get into it. Let's pull this panel off and see how these look. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is take off this back uh, water shield right here. It just consists of a bunch of clips. So once we get that out of the way, we should be able to access the back of the headlight. All right, so with the inner liner all loosened up, you can see I have all these done right here. This is gonna be pretty dirty, but it's no big deal. All you need to do is go ahead and grab this thing. There is a clip over here with the screw that we need to take off, but other than that, take this all off. I'm gonna have to set it down to use two hands, but if I take off the screw here, as well as unfold this right here, we can pull this whole thing down and have access to the back of the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down and then give that a whirl with two hands. All right, as you guys can see, some testing has been done here off camera. I uh, ended up doing it not the quick and dirty way. I uh, had to take the three fasteners out from the bottom. Actually, I think there's like five on that bottom side so I could really pull this fender liner down, which wasn't a big deal. I will show you guys on the next one how to do it, but I did need to test this for myself and I was able to get to the actual light. So as you can see, the light is right there on the red. This is your normal beam right here, low beam. The high beam is back in there. So basically what you do is you spin off this cap about 20 degrees and it slides out. And then we can get to the high beam just by pulling out the, um, the uh, whole bulb and the plug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that wire out. It's that little red line thing and I'm gonna replace it with the new one. And then I'm gonna insert it back in and redo everything back together. And then I'll show you what I did on the other side where it's a little bit easier. So what I did was remove the OEM bulb here. I believe I at least believe that this is OEM. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's the one that's in the car that produces a yellow light. And it does look like an incandescent bulb there. You can see the uh, wire. And what I'm gonna be replacing this, see our plug right there? It just plugs right directly in. What I'm going to be replacing this with are these LED guys right here. So same plug, plug and play kit. I'm just going to uh, plug these in and then hopefully they should be able to just turn in using the same uh, mounting point. And we'll see, we'll plug it in first, test it, give it a whirl, make sure it works. And then plug it into the housing and see the difference between what was in there and these new LED guys right here. 
All right, with the freshly installed LED, there is our difference. Um, actually a huge difference in person as well as on the camera that is the old high beam and then this is the new one i'm set right now to like a uh, negative one exposure just so it doesn't blow out the camera but the uh, driver side is way brighter as you can tell definitely looks like it i will uh i'll bump this up to basically like normal operation right there left side you can see the led right side is the old incandescent yellow so even if the performance isn't as good as the oem i do enjoy the look of it a lot better and i do try with my high beams on this is a uh, step down on my exposure but you can see the led is still um, really shining bright on here so if we look over on the light it's actually brighter than my led that i put in earlier so this thing is actually crazy bright right now and i'll show you the other side here it's got a very yellow tone to it which again these aren't all about looks but the leds do fit very nicely they look very good i'm really happy with this actually that is a very cool blue that they give i do enjoy that um so next step is to turn on the lights again and go back into the passenger side and i will show you guys how to remove all those fasteners this is a pretty good look right there of the difference between them I do really enjoy this. So let's go ahead and get the passenger side done and we can wrap this up. All right, so moving over to the passenger side, we need to get rid of all the fasteners again. So on this side, I found that there was five under here and then all these auxiliary uh, clips um, where I need to get rid of this screw as well. So this is a Phillips screwdriver and then we'll need to get rid of this clip and everything that runs down the side so that way we can take this off. I did find that it was easier to just take the entire wheel liner out um, and that gave me good access. So it's not too hard to do. If you have yourself a uh, clip removal tool, it's really quick. So go ahead and remove all these. You'll see me do it on camera and then we'll pull this liner back. Okay, so with the fender liner removed, we have access to the high beam port here. So what you want to do is spin this about 20 degrees and it'll pop out. It's just a little dust cover here. And once we get this out, we can set it aside and that gives us access to our high beam light. Now our high beam light is in this little hole. It's in this little mount. And what we need to do is get in there and twist it until it falls out. What we can do is we can undo this little plug right here and we have access to plug in our new LED uh, lights. Now we can add in our new LED lights, the same area, plug and play, and then reinsert back into the light. Now our light's locked in there, we'll replace it with the dust cover, and just like that, have LED upgraded high beams. All right, now that we are locked with our dust cover, all that's left to do is reinstall our uh, wheel liner here, and then we will be all good to go. So, same thing as before, just put the fasteners back in, plug these back in, and do this screw, and we're all set to go. So check it out, this is a uh, kind of a test video on the uh, the new high beams. So I'm gonna actually go out for a drive here at night. So these are the standard um, high beams that you guys, or the standard low beams before that you guys saw. Um, those were normal on my GTR. And then again, these are my high beams now. So really, really excited for these. 
they look really good. So we are going to go ahead and take the car out for a little bit of a night drive and uh, see how these perform. Um, so first I'm going to back this thing out without hitting anything and I'm going to show you guys what they look like on the street. So here's a little look as we're heading down these uh, streets and I have this set to a, a plus two and this is an exposure stop plus two so it is a little bit darker than in real life but you can see as I, ch as I change to the high beams here it lights up all the way down to that stop sign that stop sign super illuminated up here and really it just lights up everything on the road in person again it's it's a lot brighter so I'm a uh, I'm really pleased with this um, I wish the camera did pick it up all the way um, obviously I don't drive like this around with my high beams on but uh, I, I do really enjoy this um, you can see the difference kind of right there I think this is a super solid update for anybody who drives uh, you know out around or um, on rural roads, I, I really suggest doing this. This is, uh, this is this looks great for the GTR. All right, this will be the last time, I promise. I took off the filter on top of my camera, so I'm just trying to show you guys exactly uh, what I see. And as you can see, we're heading into this gate right here. This is the main headlights on and high beams on. So I think without the filter, it looks a lot better. Um, as you guys can see, the high beams are just brutally bright. The white is amazing. I come out here into the grass and of course it's gonna be a little bit darker as you can see, but they really make the difference here. So they do add a little bit of light to the top up there, which I really enjoy. So I know you guys can't see it, but I can see all the way out to my fence line out there. There is a little tractor that is lit up on the cameras there, but all in all, these are super solid, especially for the price to get you guys some brighter uh, lights at night obviously you want to be safe as you're driving um, when I tend to drive at night I'm usually by myself so I do get to use my high beams so again there they are with the high beams on you can see the whole house is illuminated now I'm really really happy with them anyways they are super solid and I just want to say a quick thank you for everybody who watched this video. The installation on the R35 was super easy. Again, I feel super safe with these new things. It is winter, so everything is getting darker faster. These new high beams are going to be great for driving in the dark. I do have some work to do on this thing, so I'm going to be uh, getting to it. Obviously, I have my tools out here, and it's time to get cranking on this. No, this is not my car. I didn't buy this. But thank you guys for checking out this video. Support those who support me. I'll leave a link in the description down below for these guys. Go see if there's anything for your car that you can pick up in these winter months when it's darker. Maybe it's time to convert to LED, and I'll leave that link down below. Please go give them a follow or check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.